Padstow now in Sydney's southwest. The New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet is on the campaign trail with Victor Dominello, and they're talking about the state's rental crisis. Let's listen in. Their personal information. What I mean by that is they'll have to provide a copy of their passport, a copy of their driver's licence, a copy of their birth certificate to real estate agents uh, or the like. And what happens? That personal information goes into a, a filing cabinet, goes into a computer, and if there's a cyber breach, goes into the dark web, and then those tenants and applicants are subject to a cyber attack. Now, I have spoken to uh, tenants advocates, including the Tenants Union New South Wales and real estate uh, professionals, including the Real Estate Institute in New South Wales, and both have asked for uh, some protections around this information oversharing that is putting both uh, tenants and real estate agents at risk. So we will shortly publish national leading guidelines which will have enforceability around them in relation to what information uh, you can share or should share and what you should not share because we need to make sure that we also provide these protections to tenants uh, in this current age and this heightened risk environment. Yes. Why haven't we moved to this reasonable grounds model sooner? Every other state and territory on the east coast already has this. Yeah, it's you're right. It's uh, Victoria just did it, I think, last year. Queensland just recently. Uh, so we will be in alignment with the Queensland Victoria. But there is a whole lot of other states and territories that have not done this. So this is a big step forward. Um, obviously, there is current pressures on the rental market. Uh, that is it. Up. Statewide. I mean, obviously, we have the largest population. Yes. Too. So, Queensland and Victoria have just introduced theirs. Uh, we are not far behind. Premier, the Greens introduced a motion to ban no grounds eviction at the end of last year in the Parliament, and your government did not support it. Mm. What has changed since then? Well, you've also got to get the balance right. As Victor has said, um, these changes were made in other states recently. But the other issue that we're facing, I think, right across the state is a lot of landlords moving away from long-term tenancies into short-term letting through things like Airbnbs. And that's putting a lot of pressure on the rental market. What we want to do through this is move to reasonable ground evictions in a way that gives confidence as well for landlords to continue to remain in the long-term rental market. So you need to do this in a balanced approach. If you rush into it, what you will have um, is a situation where landlords move into short-term letting, that is drying up the property market, and particularly in areas of regional New South Wales uh, and on the coast. In fact, when I'm, at, when I'm out in the Northern Rivers and talking to councils, this is the number one issue they raise with me in respect of housing. They're saying they've seen a lot of properties move into the short-term letting market. Now, that creates a significant strain and pressure on properties. The best thing that we can do in relation to put da putting downward pressure um, on rental prices is to have uh, more homes available for long-term letting. Now, I know where Airbnbs and, and short-term letting is becoming more and more popular, but at the same time, we need to make sure the stock is there. And this is also as part of our $3 billion investment that we made in the budget in terms of unlocking supply, creating new homes, the accelerated infrastructure fund, investing significantly in creating more opportunities for more homes to be built to provide opportunities for families across New South Wales. Unless you crack down on the short-term letting market, there's, there's not going to be any change there. You know, they're allowed to use their property. Yeah, and, and as, they, they as, as they should, but what you want to make sure is that the policies that you have in place continue to encourage long-term letting. And a key aspect of our policy today, uh, which is nation leading, is providing opportunities for landlords and tenants to have that long-term stability and certainty through contracts for three up to five years. Uh, that provides certainty to landlords in relation to their tenants and it also provides greater opportunity for tenants in relation to ensuring um, that they can, make, they can remain in their property for longer um, and that certainty is key in ensuring we have a strong rental market here in New South Wales. In the, in the ACT they have a rent cap uh, where they can, you know, there's only a certain percentage that they can increase the rent by. I spoke with someone last week whose rent increased $350 a week uh, why isn't that something that's been announced today? Well, the main thing we're looking at is ensuring, firstly, cracking down on, red, uh, on rent bidding in this state. And we've done that successfully. We brought that in last year and already we're seeing real estate agents continue to do the wrong thing. Now, in fairness to them, in fairness to them, this is a new change. 
And that's why we've issued warnings. Uh, but I think it's pretty clear now what the position is and we will have fair trading officers continuing to go into open homes and making sure, uh, making sure um, that, um, that real estate agents are not pitting a tenant against another tenant. Now, came in, hold on. Now, came in, in relation to the other aspect of your question, there is pressure right across the board. We're, we're in an environment with rising interest rates. You have mum and dad investors out there who are feeling the pinch uh, and, and struggling to make ends meet. So you need to have a balanced approach, um, and that's exactly what we've delivered. We started last year. The approach we've come in today, obviously with reasonable ground evictions, will be conducted in consultation with stakeholders because I don't want uh, a policy change to create a bigger problem than the one that we're trying to solve. Premier, if you need inspectors going in and checking in on real estate agents, and real estate agents are still doing the wrong thing, isn't that proof that your regulations are not effective enough? And you should have introduced legislation that had teeth to, to stop them, to stop real estate agents soliciting rental hoops. Well, Victor will, add, Victor, Victor will add some further comments on this, but we've made it very clear that there are significant fines in place in relation to rent bidding in New South Wales. Uh, it's important following the changes that we made um, that warnings were issued in the first instance. We're already seeing that working, uh, but following a warning, if that practice continues, significant fines will be in place. We are going through challenging econ economic times and we all need to work together on it. Whether you're a home, whether you're on a... Whether, oh, Victor will add some further information. Um, whether you're a homeowner and having the challenge of interest rate rises or whether you are a renter, we want to make sure those protections are in place. This is a holistic package that addresses those issues in a responsible way. But, Victor, do you want to add some further yeah, comments in relation to the fines? Thanks. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Graham. Well, as the Premier said, like we introduced these reforms, sweeping reforms, uh, last year. Uh, the first phase is to make sure it's educative because not everybody is across the reforms and, and particularly the real estate sector. Uh, we, what we've seen uh, anecdotally is that the practice is still happening in part. It's not as whole spread as it was before, there's no doubt about that, but it's still happening in part. We've only received, uh, and this goes to education, and this is why today's important, fair trading has only received six complaints, only six complaints since the reforms came in. Now, I know uh, that there's more than six uh, incidences, just anecdotally. So we encourage people, if they are uh, witnessing or got any evidence at all in relation to uh, real estate agents doing the wrong thing by encouraging rental bidding, please make a complaint to the Department of Fair Trading. OK, this is an issue that is certainly heating up uh, in the election campaign right across the board. The idea uh, and what is happening in practice, rents are going on astronomically. So all states and territories are trying to do something about that. New South Wales is trying to stop uh, rental bidding where you put one potential uh, tenant and pit it against another. So that is now uh, a practice that they're trying to make essentially uh, illegal in New South Wales. Uh, fines aren't going to be imposed, but um, again, this is something that the, the New South Wales current government is trying to get a, a hold on. There's some reports of, of rents going up $700 a fortnight in just one go. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that one for you.